Hi, kitty cats. Today is October 4th, 2024. It's Friday, and that means it's time for another dose of transgender joy. Ain't that the truth? So, piece of joy number one. Barbers and hairstylists in Louisville, Kentucky, teamed up last week to give members of the LGBTQ community free gender-affirming hairstyles. In one of the worst states of the union to be transgender, I salute everybody involved in the movement to give Kentucky youth, as they put it, bodily autonomy and the freedom to decide how they want to present themselves. To those of you in Kentucky, I am joyful. There are still people willing to stand up to legislation designed only to discriminate. And on that note, piece of joy number two. A study published this week by the 19th reported seven out of 10 Americans believe politicians are not well enough informed about gender affirming care to create fair legislation. Seven out of 10. Instead, they would prefer politicians protect transgender people or, crazy thought, focus on more important issues than restricting access to health care. To my fellow Americans, I am joyful You'd rather see politicians stay in their lane than crowd into mine. And finally, piece of joy number three. Last night I met a young transgender woman named Mara. Mara recognized her gender identity around 15 years old, came out to her parents at 17, and began gender affirming care when she turned 18. What's striking about Mara is that she did all this with her parents' blessing, her conservative, religious parents' blessing. Today at 19 years old, Mara is very well adjusted, looking at college programs, and has a great future ahead of her. So I am joyful. There are families out there more interested in caring for each other than towing a misguided, misinformed, misdirected party line. And that's this week's Dose of Transgender Joy. I will see you tomorrow on my live stream at 1 p.m. Mountain Time. Bye!